to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise God. What a wonderful God we have. He is giving day by day by day by day to grow in the presence of God through the word of God. And that is what the love of Christ Jesus coming upon every one of us in these last days. Praise God. Dear friends, I am in Devo Priyam, servant of God, coming to you all in the mighty presence of God. And I welcome you all. Just go through the word of God, whether it is a short or big, but the word of God always gives the good health, a spiritual health to attain the eternal life through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Shall we all bow down our heads and close our eyes before entering into the word of God and meditate the presence of God. Praise God. Gracious Heavenly Father, Almighty God, God of Heavens and Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Most High God, Lord of Hosts, we thank you and praise you, Father. You are wonderful God, awesome God, great God, living God, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are our rock. You are our shelter and shield, shepherd. You are our steadfast loving God. You are our defense and deliverer. You are our horn of salvation. You are our height of tower. You are our fortress. We thank you and praise you, Father. Elohim, we thank you, Father. El Shaddai, we thank you, Lord. El Oram, we thank you, Master God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rofeka, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Sidkenu, Jehovah Makhandesh, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shalom. Praise and worship you, Father God. Living God, mighty God, wonder-working God, King of the universe, we thank you and praise you, God. God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, we thank you and praise you, Father God. Lord, Jehovah, Jehovah and Yeshua, we thank you and praise you, Master God. Lead us and guide us, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen. Dear friends, it's a wonderful time that God is giving for every one of us. Whether you believe it or not, whether you hear this voice or not, whether you watch this video or not, but the gracious heavenly father he is in one and another way he is speaking every one of us in different different types of angles praise god and today god would like to give us again in the time of the tribulation we have seen that the seven seals it is the one first package of the judgment there are three judgments seals trumpets and bowls we are seeing that first of all we have seen the seven seals and how the judgment is coming upon. Remember, once again to remind you that the rapture, it takes place before the time of the tribulation. The seven years is the package of the duration of the time of the tribulation. And it gives exactly, extremely for every Israelites, the Jewish people. And even it gives the, it gives even that a final privilege for any unbeliever of any other nationals as well and but this is the time that exactly we must be careful because we all hope that that we will not be in the time of the tribulation if you have the confidence today that you are a born again believer in the name of jesus christ of nazareth washed by the precious blood of jesus so we are not exactly in this scene i hope praise god because we will be lifted up before the time and that is the time our bride Lord Jesus Christ he comes to the mid air and we all will be lifted who are all dead in Christ by the time they all will rise up first and then whoever alive in the time of the rapture and they will be transformed translated into as a spiritual form and then they will be lifted up to the mid air and from the mid air our Lord Jesus Christ so we will hold his hand, our bride, and he will take us to the Father, where the many mansions are there. Somebody say Amen. Praise God. And now this is the time and that the tribulation starts. And that is the three packages of the judgment. So we'll be there. Seeds, the first seven judgments. And then trumpets, the seven trumpets of Revelation, the seven judgments of the second. Finally, there will be a seven bowls. In between, there are the certain things are there according to the word of God, Revelation. 
if we go through all that very deep it is all actually we have to meditate and go through this revelation since the message so we will go to the one of the headlines and it will go quickly but that doesn't mean that it's enough for to study this we have to sit and study dear friends because the revelation is the main factor now for every one of us we must to be follow because this is the time the rapture is going to come at any moment so it's a time so do not just postpone it do not just think that today the god will come because some people will try to argue it's not that still the time has to come so that that shows you know what that shows that still the time is there let us enjoy and we will see later that is the idea dear friend never think that we do not know even the next second we will be alive or not because due due to the all sort of the situations the worldly things what is happening is it they are giving a alarming each one of us because it's not it's not guarantee for here but there is a guarantee thing is there forever that is the eternal life praise god so that is what we need to know that our names are written in the revelation the book of life of lamb of god and that book shows that who are all in the rapture time praise god thank you. my brother he was uh, reminding again yes these are the these are the alarming messages we need that rapture is coming soon and are you there in the rapture or not and that's what exactly correct praise god so we will move to the last week uh, we have seen the seven seals and after the seven seals this are all we are doing the seven seals and seven trumpets it happens in the first three and of e- three and of years of the seven years duration of the tribulation so tribulation is divided into two first of second of first of is the tribulation and second of is called the part of tribulation it's called great tribulation because there is a terrible time is there and in between we know we have seen that already antichrist he entered he appears and in this first 300 years the third temple will be built in jerusalem and that is what happens that antichrist he go and sit there and finally he declares that he is god and that's what is going to happen so that moment the all the jewish people everybody will come to know that and they hope their eyes will be opened there and we have seen that seven seals the judgments will be fall upon the earth and we have seen that the previous message now seven trumpets are coming upon so here now we know that now antichrist is there and all everybody with uh, they are in the under the judgment now let us see quickly seven trumpets what happens exactly seven trumpets duration time so this is the time that the seven trump- trumpets are described in revelation chapter 8 we will uh, begin with uh, from uh, uh, verse to begin from 6 so that we can see in the verse see so the seven angels who had seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound so seven seven angels they have given with the trumpet and they are ready to blow so once they blow the trumpet and that judgment will be fall upon the earth that's what we are seeing my dear friend here when you see that the seven trumpets are it's nothing but the contents of the seventh seal of judgment so seventh seal last one we have seen that in that contents we have seen the what is the next exploration it is interconnected seven seals the seventh one will give the beginning for the seven trumpets in the seventh trumpet again it gives the connection with the seven balls of judgment that's what the word of god is talking about so here when you observe in the duration of the tribulation period the seven trumpets will take a, a herald judgment upon earth now seven judgments of seals over seal open and the judgment declared now it is not the secret it is the sound trumpet that's what it's called trumpet judgment seven trumpets of revelation let us move to the first trumpet when the god gives the alarm to blow the first trumpet and that's what it is written in verse 7 we can see that verse 7 the first angel sounded 
and hail and fire followed mingled with blood and they were thrown to the earth and the third of the trees were burned up and all green grass was burned up dear friends we need to observe very carefully here is the first trumpet we are seeing that once the first angel the first trumpet angel blown the trumpet there was a, a great experience that hail and fire mixed with blood hail and fire mixed with blood and that has fallen down so what happened it is happened one third of earth one third of earth is burned and destroyed by mix of hail and fire you know that hail stones it is like a it is like a it's a, it's like ice stones and fire is the fire see what type of mixing this is cold and fire they mix together mix with blood and that has been fallen down dear friend was 8 we are seeing that was 7 we are seeing that the first trumpet so it is a, a vegetation stuck upon the earth and that's what we are seeing and we are seeing that uh, the whole area has been burnt one third of the earth is burned and destroyed you know what it shows that the earth is destroyed the earth one third is burned this is the a judgment fall upon the unbelievers unbelievers in the duration of the tribulation period the first trumpet when it blows let us move to the second trumpet when second trumpet blow what happens so second trumpet it talks about the the seas struck now first the land has been struck the second trumpet when it blows the judgment fall so that the sea has got struck let us see how it has been struck in the second if we read it in verse 8 then the second angel sounded and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea and a third of the sea became blood did you observe one thing blood is appearing in the first trumpet when the blood is falling down what did you think about the blood so whenever the blood is falling blood it's become blood we know that in exodus chapter 7 verse 20 to 21 we saw the judgments it similar to more or less same when moses and aaron when they prayed to god they proved in front of pharaoh and they when they said that the plagues are coming upon we saw that nile river the whole water became blood can you get that my dear friend so that time the blood so the blood coming from god there are two ways the one is the blood it came that is given a warning of destroying but the other blood it came falling and it shed to cleanse our sins somebody say amen that is the blood of jesus so first in the new old testament god has given that a wonderful deliverance speaking our life from egypt that is the sin bondage to the promised land that is the eternal life and moving from there to eternal life for that guidance god has given one side is curse he has given cursing and that was the sign of the nile river becoming water becoming blood and then the lamb's blood whoever puts on the door post and the the death has passed over they escaped all israelites escaped because of the blood and there because of the blood curse has come and because of the lamb's blood the salvation has come praise god amen and now the lamb himself lord jesus christ he came he shed the blood and then we receive the born again the salvation has come praise god amen and now 
God is giving this in tribulation period. The blood is coming upon again. Excuse me. This blood is not for the salvation. This blood is not with the grace. This blood is not to save. But this blood is to come for the judgment. To punish. Praise God. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy God. And that is what the blood in Exodus chapter 7 verse 20 to 21. So in the second, second trumpet when it is blown. We are seeing that the blood it is destroying. So what is happening? Hail and then fire the blood mixed and coming upon them, then it is falling down and in second trumpet we are uh, we, what we have saw that is the seas have been stuck because there is a burning mountain burning mountain falling in the sea now because that time it's fallen on the ground of the earth in the first trumpet second trumpet the mountain is falling with the fire in the sea. Why it in the sea, my dear friend? Because we have seen that what, what is happening is one, one third of ocean turned to blood. That time Nile River became blood. Now the ocean, one third of the ocean is becoming blood. So what, what happens in that? One third of fish died. All the creatures inside the Ocean, the fish has died. One third of ships were destroyed. Dear friend, the second trumpet totally demolishing the seawater. Listen carefully. A great mountain of fire falling on the sea. And all the creatures in the sea has been one third of creatures died. Third trumpet. Then it comes to the third trumpet and that's what we are seeing in verse 10 and 11. The third angel sounded and a great star fell from heaven. Great star fell from heaven burning like a torch and it fell on the third of the rivers and on the springs of water. Listen carefully. It fallen the first trumpet. The fire, hailstones and fire fallen on earth. Second, the fire mountain fallen on sea. And third, we are seeing here the a, a glowing like a torch star falling on where rivers and springs the natural water springs what happened the name of the star is wormwood it is a plant a plant in botanical name there is a plant it a name has got this this name is wormwood and this this is like a bitter taste i believe so a third of the waters became wormwood and many men died from the water because it made bitter and whoever drinks that water everybody died everybody will die that time my dear friend it's coming to ahead it is coming ahead so again the water is bitter again you go to the exodus again there is a mara water mara water what happened it was a bitter water but the grace of lord jesus christ this water became sweet for israelites to drink praise god and that's what it's happened. Again, it's a conscious thing for us. What are all incidents happen? A terrible plague, a terrible wilderness. All these things will literally will happen in the time of the tribulation. Praise God. So that's what we need to realize and escape from that, my dear friend. So this is what the when we see the, this third trumpet, or when it blown, there is a this a great star is falling blazing like a torch it falls from the sky and it, it makes the poisons the, the water supply it, it poisons the water supply so because since it's fallen in the Ursi, the star is given named Wombwood okay 
and that is the wormwood it is it is a it is a, a, a type of a plant it is called as artemisia artemisia so one third of water turns to bitter by the great burning star called wormwood and it will kill many whoever drink of that water revelation chapter 8 verse 10 and 11 Let's go to the fourth trumpet the fourth judgment fourth trumpet it talks about verse 12 13 then the fourth angel sounded and the third of the sun was struck third of the sun was struck third of the moon and the third of the stars so that the third of them were darkened a third of the day did not shine and likewise the night and i looked and i heard on the angel flying through the midst of the heaven saying that a loud voice wo 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 to the inhabitants of the earth because of the remaining blast of the trumpet of three angels who are about to sound see here very very carefully listen in the fourth trumpet time fourth trumpet we saw that in the fourth trumpet we saw that angel when it sounded something happened in heaven something like almost like a switching of lights the fourth trumpet when it is blown one third of sun became dark one third of moon became dark one third of stars became dark one third of day became dark one third of night became it is unexplainable darkness night is a dark but this dark is something different my dear friend you need to understand so one third became dark so that that means one third of light has gone and that is what the great impact is taken place it is a it is something like a it could it could have, it could cause by maybe by a, a volcano ash we do not know maybe like a, some nuclear 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 blast maybe something like a it's a, a comet impact but how it happens maybe if, if anybody unfortunately there in that time they they can give that answer maybe hopefully we will not praise god so here that darkness comes it's now god when he gives the first he attack the land second the sea third the rivers and springs and fourth it is becoming to the heaven the heavens what is that sun moon stars and that's what they are losing their light my dear friend so that is the impact taking place see step by step god is moving shaking off everything in this second part of the this judgments we can see that and then uh, we can see this in the uh, the one third of all this sun moon stars and everything becoming dawn and we are seeing that first of all the first four trumpets blow and there is one thing happened this is the one set the first four trumpets judgments now the other three of trumpet judgments are horrible that's why there is a, a wonderful eagle is coming and making a noise what noise wo 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 a terrible time terrible time terrible time the other three judgments going to be horrible that means 5 6 7 trumpets going to be severe than the first one the first four so what is that let us see that the first one first one means the fifth trumpet from now onwards the 1 2 3 5 6 7 5 fifth trumpet what it shows that the fifth trumpet it shows that then the fifth angel sounded i saw a star fallen from heaven to the earth to him was given the key of the key to the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and the smoke arose 
from out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace so that the sun and the air wax darkened because of the smoke of pit then out of the smoke locust came upon on the earth and to them see dear friends can you see this now if you the great star is falling down having the key to open the bottomless pit see it is now land over ocean over river over now sky over now underneath and that is the bottomless pit key has been given to this particular star this is a, a demonic locust is coming out from there terrible situation now so those who did not uh, this this is the a terrible thing in the fifth trumpet we are seeing that uh, he opens the the abyss what you call the bottomless pit in other words called abyss so abyss will be opened releasing the locust to come out so once that that star is going and then it is opening the bottomless pit so the locust is coming out a terrible demonic locust if they have they have those locust it is not that they are eating the plants what is the locust we have seen in the old testament again the old testaments what happened in the plagues time in the uh, egypt the locust came and they ate of all the plants but now the locust is not going to eat the plants anymore the locust is going to eat the human beings terrible thing my dear friend they have the power like a scorpion their tail has got the sting and that is very poisonous they will come and hit and lot of people will die in that so locusts do not uh, they will not touch the plant they will touch the human beings so terrible thing is going to happen and they will uh, they, they 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 will not touch somebody say amen they will not touch only some people who is that whoever having the seal of god on their foreheads somebody say amen the seal of god in the time of tribulation this topic please in the time of tribulation seal of god makes the big impact and difference my dear friend praise god so whoever whoever having the seal of god i'll tell you later how that seal of god option is available in the time of tribulation praise god and this makes the locust torment the people and its words agony is going to come upon among the midst of the people and locust it makes to kill everyone almost all people but it will not touch the people who is having the seal of god and this is what this is the it is it's this locust locust have a king this all locust will have a, a, a one king one leader will be there that leader as uh, is the angel of abyss they call revelation chapter 9 verse 11 it is written in hebrew his name is abaddon 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 means the leader of this locust this the people who are killing so this is what the something it's called the destroyer meaning is destroyer this locust is coming upon the people so here we can see that uh, they look like a horse prepared for the battle this all people and they wear something like a a crown of gold the crown of gold will be there upon their heads and they are uh, something they have their face is like a vaguely human face they have in verse 7 it is there and that's what it sees uh, exactly it appears to be their teeth uh, they, they have the hair like a woman's hair and their teeth is like a lion's the teeth have got the lion's teeth so they have something like a a terrible thing is there upon them my dear friend and that's what we are seeing in the fifth trumpet a fifth trumpet we are seeing that a, a terrible thing it is coming upon the 
or the, the locust, the bottomless pit when it is open, and that's what the terrible thing is we are seeing. So it is almost like a, yeah, almost like a something like a, uh, a, 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 it is coming like a, a Satan fallen down. That star which we said, that star has got the keys of the the bottomless pit, and then that is the what the, the it's a devil a piece. It is going inside and then opening the locust. So this bottomless pit is not the what we call hell or a hates or a sheol. This is not that my dear friend. It is bottomless pit is further underneath. It is there and that is what exactly the demons their storeroom, their house like they are coming out in this time. So the, the their leader is Abaddon. That is what happens in fifth. And then in the sixth trumpet, what happens? Sixth trumpet, when it is blown, sixth trumpet. So here in a Revelation, we can see that one in Revelation chapter 9 verse 13 onwards. Then the sixth angel sounded and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who had been prepared hour and day and month and year were released to kill third of the mankind. You know what happens? This sixth trumpet angel when blow, the order has been given where the, in the Euphrates river there are four angels they prepared and kept and these angels the four angels these have been prepared for the from years together and they are waiting they are this what to come and kill the people mankind who are not believing God believing Jesus Christ in the time of tribulation. Praise God. This is the terrible thing, my dear friend. So why we should say for praise God here exactly, you know? Praise God for the revelation. Praise God that God is revealing this knowledge. Praise God that the danger is there. Praise God that uh, these are the wrong things so that we are not to approach. For that we need to praise God because that's what God is revealing. Praise God. Thank you Holy Spirit. So the four angels and then they have the army of 200 million troops. Four angels. They have the army of 200 million troops and they will kill one third of the people it seems. In Revelation chapter 9 verse 13 to 24. So it is the angels from Euphrates. Angels from Euphrates, they have four and they will be released and they have 200 million people, troops are there, they come and kill. So God, he told in the time of the sixth angel to release the four angels that are bound up in Euphrates river. So this army might be formed it comes a different different di directions in that time lot of prophecies they are telling particular area uh, some says that from turkey iran syria or iraq or some that area onwards these are all the prophetic words but i would like to go on the uh, outer line where that uh, these things are happening so there are three plagues that come from the mouth of horses and they kill the people and that is the uh, terrible terrible it is referring to like a fire jet planes they comes like a fire jet planes it seems and that those angels and so this is a, a terrible things so those who survive they will who, who are refused to repent for God and they cannot survive in front of this they all will die and that's what all they will, people who are having all sort of the immorality things like a sexual immorality, alcohol, drugs and all things that time, everybody will be destroyed my dear friend. 
so this is in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 and Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25 to 27 it says that the line is when the substance is used to fill the spirit so be filled by Jesus who is be filled by Jesus who is only one who can truly fill us and satisfy as well and this is the time to escape such a dangerous thing my dear friend so following the sixth trumpet when these things are happened sixth trumpet so our disciple John and he sees an, a, a mighty angel coming and that's what uh, it is uh, written in uh, Revelation chapter 10. A mighty angel is coming. Some they refer even Jesus. But uh, let us move according to the word of God. A mighty angel is coming upon down. And carrying a, a this is, this is, uh, I'm carrying a to give the, before it goes to the seventh angel. Seventh angel. Here some gap, very important thing. After six, six trumpets, judgment is getting over. John sees this, a great mighty angel is coming down, holding a book, holding a, a scroll, a book, and coming down, and just when about to stand. Here the promise has given the seventh angel and the sound of his trumpet. John told he must prophesy something more. So John said, I want to prophesy something. So John here what it happens here in Revelation chapter 10 verse 10, 9 to 10. We see that the angel of the Lord, he gives that a privilege of to showing this book to John. And John eats that little book. He eats. It is the word of God my dear friend. So John the disciple, he eats the word of God. So that angel, when he went to the angel, he takes that book and he eats. So the angel gives that wonderful privilege of eating the word of God. So word of God, here he says that this word of God, which that angel is holding, that word of has got, it has got when it is goes to the stomach, there is a bitterness inside of the stomach. So what it shows, word of God, we have seen the word of God, the grace of God. But here the word of God is the having the judgment. Judgment is, it is for the either escape or the, for the punishment. Judgment is bitterness. So this word of God from this book, judgment and grace is there. So when he ate that, it was light and like a sweet, the grace he thought. When it goes, it's a bitter one. That's what experience from the uh, for John and now he calls for the great thing it comes to discipline the two witnesses arriving praise the Lord somebody say amen so this duration we are seeing that two witness will be coming so after sixth trumpet judgment two witnesses are coming and that's what everybody says that Elijah or Enoch Elijah or Moses that God will decide. So these people who, who are coming in this duration of the tribulation period, true witnesses will preach the gospel. Praise God. Gospel is available in the time of tribulation. And that is for the grace of God. Still in us. And that's the great privilege to be selected for that. This. So these people will stay this first three and a half years duration time we are seeing them and their days are 1260 days and that is what the three and a half years one year 360 days so first three and a half first 1260 days so this they will preach in Jerusalem and they perform the great miracles and they will have the martyred they will be murdered they will be killed thrown their bodies on the road we are seeing so God will raise them back again and everybody will witness for that it seems praise God and they will be taken up to heaven praise God that's what the two witnesses will be coming this time after the sixth trumpet my dear friend 
and now after this over everything in revelation chapter 11 verse to 1 to 13 all this scenario will be done the two witnesses come preach does the great miracles and they will be killed and their bodies will be taken off praise god so that is the actually the one of the stick of the second part of the rapture we are seeing there they will be taken off praise god now the seventh trumpet praise god the last judgment of the second package the judgment of trumpets seventh trumpet it it shows the kingdom of heaven the kingdom will be proclaimed in this trumpet my dear friends seventh trumpet here they said that it is a third woe the first one is the fifth trumpet is the first woe and sixth trumpet the second woe and the third one we are seeing the third woe is the seventh trumpet what is happening in this trumpet my dear friend in this trumpet when the seventh trumpet sounds immediately there are loud voices from heaven loud voice from heaven what they are showing what they are making noise they are making noise the kingdom of the world has come the kingdom of our lord and his messiah and he will reign forever and forever somebody say amen the great declaration will be coming the sound that it shows that kingdom of heaven is going to come so here we are seeing that uh, the great uh, great privilege of we are seeing the people that great privilege of uh, thing is appearing that thousand of uh, 144000 people will be they will be having the the revelation of the revelation of the thing the they they are they're coming to the presence of god praise god 1444000 people 144000 people will be saved praise god that is the actual god decided number that is and that were the jewish people the people will be chosen among them there we are seeing the 24 elders seventh trumpet when it's blown open 24 elders worship god again in another heavenly scene appears here so here here we are seeing that uh, they, they have the a covenant with god praise god they are very specialized people later they will be killed as well but they are chosen people praise god and the seven figures will be introduced this time so there are seven figures will come and appear in the time of the seventh trumpet time seven figures it will be explained later the seven figures will appear the witness so we are seeing that two witness comes and go and uh, uh, we are seeing that uh, there are the people in uh, uh, revelation chapter 14 we are seeing that the, the lamb and the 1444000 people will be chosen and they will be saved beast appearance this all will takes place and after the uh, the time i mean the, in the time of the seventh trumpet seventh trumpet comes then the the woman the child and the dragon beast all the satan appearance and all will appear there and now uh, the lamb lamb and 144000 people will be saved and they will have the seal of god so what is happening here in the seventh trumpet time it also it mentions that the seven bowls going to come upon seven figures are appearing and they shows that uh, explained with the exploration of the seven bowls going to come and that's what the seventh trumpet talks about so seventh trumpet seven trumpets of revelation it shows that first four and then last three last three is three woes 
where the big eagle tells about that it is better not to live on earth these three are coming which is that fifth trumpet sixth trumpet seventh trumpet we have seen that a terrible thing is happening there my dear friend so second part of judgment once the seventh trumpet judgment is over it is three and a half years is over the first tribulation period first part of tribulation period is getting over the second part begins with the seven bowls bowls shows that the wrath of god and here the antichrist has come third temple has been built now antichrist has come he will be sitting in the third temple and that before that that say we are we have seen that uh, a terrible calamity is taking place two witnesses are coming they preach and they will be killed and with that gospel believing of Christ Jesus will be there one lakh 44000 people will be saved and they will have the seal of god and no weapon will touch them amen and they will be killed ultimately and they are all our chosen people to join us in the place of god and that's what we have come through the rapture time so these people also will join there in the time of second coming while we are all coming with the lord jesus christ my dear friend so that is what the seven trumpets are taking place so can you believe that in this duration how 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 how, how much privilege that we are escape this to lifted up in the rapture to meet our lord jesus christ in the mid air and then move on to the heaven praise god and now this duration time but still how god loves us in the left behind people who know some terrible thing terrible plagues are coming but still the word of god is talking still lot of people not repented here the number is only 144000 that's according to god's number we do not know how much it multiplies we do not know but here we are seeing that in the time of tribulation and what a privilege the people who are escaped from that and died in christ jesus but rest of all are still they are continuing the doing the sin drinking sexual immorality dragging all sort of rubbish stealing gnostic things still they are doing and then the second part is coming upon three and a half years and that in next message by the grace of god we will be seeing next message the seven balls or bowls of revelation may god bless you to be realarmed again the seven trumpets judgment of revelation shall we all bow on our heads and close our eyes gracious heavenly father almighty god we thank you father god to revealing the seven trumpet of revelations master god the seven master god is a terrible thing master god the first four everything master god one third of earth one third of sea one third of light of sun moon stars and father god the bottomless pit is getting opened the locust is coming and eating everywhere father god and the terrible things are happening master god father see all the creatures are dying one third father god master god and again father that terrible thing we have seen that master god people are dying and they then two witnesses are coming praise god and they are preaching and they died for you father god master god praise god 144000 the souls have been saved at that time and father god we do not know what is that number we do not know even any at that time any gentile can gather the privilege and but you have given that full quota master god better gentile and every believer of jesus escape through the rapture instead of the terrible tribulation thank you holy spirit once again lord master god thank you speaking seven seals with this antichrist and the seven trumpets father god that master god judgment this 14 judgments in 3 and of years father god the terrible thing and now the people realize antichrist is a devil he is the lucifer the satan and we rebuke the devil in the mighty name of jesus 
Father God, lead us every one of us, Master, whoever watching, brother and sister and Master God, the children, their any friends, everybody, Master God, touch them with the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord. To Master God, to have the revelation of this, these warnings are there and escape the terrible thing of the tribulation and escape, Father God, through the blood, Master God, believing Christ Jesus, today is the day of salvation. And please wait for the rapture praying for the tribulation also father god that duration and what a privilege that what like 44000 escape and comes from the master and 24 elders as well thank you holy spirit once again leaders and guides in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen praise god may the love of our heavenly father almighty god god of heavens be with us and our gracious heavenly father lord jesus christ be with us and the Holy Spirit open this wonderful knowledge. Seven seals, seven trumpets, these judgments are terrible and escape this. So that Master, by only one thing, put the seal of God, seal of God, that is the seal of Jesus, the blood of Jesus upon us, so that escape the accursed blood upon this world, Father God, through the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise God. May God bless you all once again. And thank you very much. It is a need to deep sitting and studying, meditating this revelation especially. And that's the greatest thing. So may God bless you all. Let us move on to the seven vows in next message. May God bless you all. And the God's people said, Amen and Amen. Praise God. See you next video. Amen. Praise God.